Android devices are becoming compatible with a little known technology called USB on the go or USB OTG. It lets you turn your phone or tablet into a USB host and connect standard USB accessories like flash drives, hard drives, gaming controllers, keyboards and more. By now I'm sure you're wondering how the heck you're supposed to connect a USB device like this into a micro USB port like this. Well, the secret is this $2 USB OTG adapter. You can find it online at a place like Amazon for a few bucks or less. Like I mentioned though, it's not compatible with every phone and tablet. And in some cases, only a handful of USB accessories will work with your phone. But the Samsung Galaxy S3 coupled with the OTG adapter works with an impressive number of USB devices. Why don't I demo a few, starting with a USB flash drive. When you plug a flash drive in, the phone will immediately display the contents. From here, you can play back or view any media you have on the drive. You can also move data from the USB drive to your phone's SD card by tapping and holding the file you want to move. Other storage devices, including memory card readers, will also work with the adapter. So in theory, you could shoot photos with your digital camera and quickly transfer them to your Android phone for editing and uploading on an app like Instagram. If you do a lot of typing on the go, you'll be happy to hear that with the adapter, you can connect a keyboard to your Android. Plug it in, fire up a notepad, and you can start typing as usual. You can even use shortcuts like Control A and Control Z. But what really surprised me is that when you plug a mouse into the USB port, even a wireless mouse, a pointer shows up on the screen. From there, you can use the mouse just as you would your finger. You can swipe through pages, select icons, and more. I can't think of any practical applications for this, but it is pretty cool. Okay, this one is crazy and awesome. You can connect a PS3 controller to your Android and not only navigate the interface like swipe through pages and apps, but you can also play games. Just plug the controller into the USB port and launch a game like Supersonic. Not every game works with this, so you'll have to do some testing to find out if your favorite games will work. But in Sonic, for example, I can use my PS3 controller the way I would a Sega controller. Running, jumping, all those actions work swiftly with this setup. From what I hear, the Xbox controller works too, but I haven't tested that yet. So those are just a few ways this $2 cable can make your Android device a whole lot more useful and fun. My advice is to try other devices too, like a USB microphone or even a MIDI keyboard for you musicians. If you discover any cool uses, please let me know on Twitter and check out my blog on howto.cnet.com for the complete guide to the USB OTG adapter. For CNET, I'm Sharon Backman.